Hi there, I'm Michael Posnick from Century 21 Northumberland and today we're doing a custom video for a Pacific client but I figured as long as I was doing it for that client I'd share it with the world. Uh, what, we're, what we're doing here is we're offering some very special promotional pricing uh, that will not be advertised on this video on two back lots that retail for $119,877 and they're lots in Sunbury Cove Estates and they're lots 24 and 25 we're looking at today. So we'll take a look at those lots and try to give you the best possible feel I can without actually being here. If you're not familiar with Sunbury Cove, go to sunburycove.com. I personally have purchased four lots in this subdivision, two water front, two water view, and I invested in the initial project. Uh, so I actually put my money where my mouth is. I don't think you're going to find a better location in PEI, but by all means, check everything out that's for sale come here last and you can make the decision but in my 15 years of doing exclusively waterfront um, I'm a huge uh, proponent of uh, Sunbury Cove and I think you should take the time to check it out. When you enter the subdivision you're at about uh, 25 or 30 feet above sea level obviously when you're at the beach you're at sea level. So we're pulling in we're gonna hang it almost a U-turn here And 25 and 26 would be just before the house that we're going to see on the right hand side. That house currently for sale for $599,877 and that would be 80 Stacy. More information on that is at sunburycove.com or if you go to 80stacy.com. So we're just passing lot 23 and we're coming up to 2425 here on our right. Okay, so here's how this is going to work so we know where the camera is. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the tripod above the survey markers. So what you're going to do, if you want to follow along, is you want to go to the Sunbury Cove website, go into the Properties tab, under the black and white photo you'll see Survey. Black and white, grab that, and what we're doing is we're looking at the uh, pin number 16964 is where we are. 16964 which is directly between 24 and 25 and I'm also verifying it with this GPS right here. So this is 16964 and we're just going to do a panorama. That would be to the east. So this is pin number 16963, which is between lots 24 and 25 on the road front. Pointing towards the north. Nice thing about these properties is you will have southern exposure on the front of the house. Of course you'll have access to the phenomenal beach and miles of water frontage. So this is pin number 16967. You're not really great at reading surveys. A survey marker is typically signified by a solid black square that's usually two to three millimeters in size depending on the scale of the survey. And it is solid or opaque, it's not uh, the one that looks like a little box. That's a reference point, typically there's no marker there. So that's the back of the lot or towards the uh, north. And that's back towards uh, 80 Stacy. Info at 80stacy.com. Okay, so where I'm standing now is where it is most likely that you would be building a house if you were to purchase lot 24. Okay, so where I'm standing now is we're pointed to the south to the water. In front of us is lot number 5. We're standing in lot 25, as I said. And we're just going to go all the way around. This is unobstructed. The wetland is to your uh, east. trees behind you and we already know who our neighbor is on the adjacent lot or the next door lot whatever you want to call it. Now one of the questions I had is whether this is a sandy beach or it's a clay beach and from what I could figure is most of it was sand and now that I'm down here I can confirm that it is in fact sand 
Uh, we just widened the view here. And right now we're close to high tide, and there is a bit of seaweed on the beach that will dry up and blow away. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pan. And uh, keep in mind, we had the storm of the century there back in January or February, where it wiped out a lot of waterfront cottages. Sunbury Cove actually did really well. So that's just a quick pan of the beach. There's miles and miles of it. And I don't know if I can catch it on this frame, but the western boundary of the property actually has a freshwater stream about a mile that way. You have a view of the Confederation Bridge, which amazingly, this is a wide-angle lens, you can even see it on the screen. I'm not sure if you can see that, but that's one lighthouse located in Fernwood. There's the second lighthouse we can see from Sunbury Cove, and that's located across from Summerside on McCollum's Point. Here's another quick scan of the beach. But if you want privacy, geez, this is the place to be. Of course, today it's only 10 Celsius and it's on the verge of rain. And I'm standing at the top of this gear to give you a 360 view. What a phenomenal spot. As long as I'm at it, I get a lot of emails and comments from people that look at the aerial photos that are on the website and that and think that there's no tree lots in Sunbury Cove Estates. There in fact is some very nice, very large tree lots and uh, as long as I'm here I'm just going to shoot us through lot number 21 which is on the water and of course we have fully tree lots uh, that aren't on the water as well. And uh, since we're covering uh, water view lots today, the, uh, the water view lots are 119,877. Or if you call me immediately, um, there may be a special offering on those lots uh, as well. So let's just take a cruise through lot 21. So this was just done for demonstration purposes, so someone could get the idea of what they could do and what the, uh, the growth was in the lot. I haven't been down here this year, so I don't know if we can even get all the way down to the end. Got beautiful birch trees, spruce, pine, ash. Yes, I think we're going to have to clean this up a bit. Of course, like I said, this isn't a trail. This is just done to show people what they can do with a wooded lot. So at this end, it would open up to the water. And of course, you could cut those uh, those trees to your liking. And this is the bay side. So we're just coming out here. Ugh. Again, if you have the survey, we're at uh, pin number 17806. 17806. And this is the bay. Better view of it up here. So there's the bay, perfect for boating, swimming, kayaking, canoeing, water sports. Of course in the winter ice skiing, summer fishing, once in a while you even see the odd lobster. This is uh, 18 McKenna that's currently for sale, they just finished the deck. Can you hear that? That's called nature. And you're not going to hear that in the city. About the only thing you hear here is the sounds of nature, the birds. Today you hear the wind uh, blowing through the trees. So yes, we have waterfront lots that are completely wooded. We have water view lots that are completely wooded. And we have completely cleared lots that are water view, waterfront, with north and south and easterly exposure. We have it all. Visit sunburycove.com. All the directions, the GPS coordinates are on the site. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube videos and we can do some more exciting ventures through the woods and through the waterfront here in Prince Edward Island Real Estate. Thank you and have a great day.